Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our um, special coverage here in our Charles Max Chess channel. Currently, uh, I am playing in the Sharjah Masters International Championship 2022. Uh, there are about uh, 80 players and 75% uh, of the players, almost 60 players, are Grandmasters. Uh, with the top seed uh, Vladimir Fedosev from Russia. In round number one, I lost to this up-and-coming grandmaster from India, Raunak Sadwani. He's one of these uh, young phenoms, like in the likes of uh, Pragnananda, Nihal, Arjun, Irigaisi. There are just so many talents in India. Okay, I, uh, I lost in in the middle game after sacrificing two pieces, which was, okay, maybe it was all right. Uh, the sacrifice was fine, but the continuation was bad, but it's part of the game. Uh, when when I lose, uh, I just move on. This is just life, you just move on. Okay, here in round number two, I played the number one Kazakh player, uh, Rinat Jumabayev. We, we played uh, a few games before. So we played in Chennai, in India. And we also played in the zonals. I think this is our third encounter. And uh, okay, let's just check it out. I miss an important tactic to win here. But fortunately, in the end, he lost on time. Okay, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Yeah. All right, I was white. It started with knight f3. I started with knight f3. Yesterday, I played dynamic chess so this time I uh, try to be careful and play solid play positional chess and see what happens he played knight of six I went for d4 d5 c4 okay we have the normal queen's gambit e6 queen's gambit declined I played knight c3 okay, finally he he accepted that pawn on c4 e3 okay another option would be e4 of course but I don't want this line at bishop b4. I don't want to go into complications. Yeah. So just solid e3. He went for a6. Of course, he wants to go for b5. If you take on c4, then he will just go for b5. And he gets an extra tempo. If I move back my bishop to e2, he can play bishop b7. Yeah. So I had to play, I had to play a4 to stop the b5 push. He wants c5, takes on c4, he played knight c6, castles, he played bishop e7. Another option here for, for black is to capture on d4. Then I would get this iqp, yeah, instead of bishop e7. Well, if he goes for bishop e7, I would still go for queen e2. I would sacrifice this pawn on d4, and I takes, queen takes d4, and I would go for rook e1. <clears throat> if he plays queen c5, then just bishop e3. Okay, if it's queen c7, then a5. All right. Okay, but he didn't go for it. takes. Yeah? He went for bishop e7, queen e2, uh, castles. Now it's different. Now if he takes on d4, I can keep my pawn structure with rook d1 here. I can go for, let's say, castles. I can go for knight takes d4 instead of pawn. And the knight takes rook takes. Yeah. Okay, so he went casting, rook to d1. He moved away from the pin on the d file. So queen c7, no discovered attack. Bishop d2, rook to d8, bishop e1. I, I wanted that space on c1 for my rook. He played bishop d7. Okay, d5, now is the time. Takes, 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 and takes. All right, black has a majority with three points, the a, b, and c against my a and b. But I have a strong bishop on d5. And it's important that black doesn't have that knight on f6. Because I can attack his weak points on f7, g7, and f h7. Then back on e8, protecting the weakest point on f7. So queen c4. Maybe a little bit too early. I was trying to go for a5 also in this position, but I was worried that he would go for knight b4 and I couldn't keep my bishop pair. Yeah. 
So I decided my queen is not doing anything on e2. I'll just go to c4, all right? Activate my queen and then centralize it to e4. Of course, you don't take the pawn on b5. Takes, this is not a free pawn, right? Rook takes an a1, takes, you lose that bishop on d5, right? So no, there's a big no-no. So I had to play queen e4. Now there's a pin on the rook on a8. Now I can also potentially shift my bishop to a2 and b1. You play rook c8, takes in b5, takes in b5, h4. Okay, an important moment for me. Uh, I'm planning to go for knight g5 here. And that's why the pawn is the, the pawn in h4 is the hook to the knight. At the same time, keeping my back rank safe. I now have this h2 square for the king. Went for b4, he doesn't want bishop c3 because uh, if you play something else, I would go bishop c3 as well, or b3, bishop c3, and attack the dark square diagonal. So b4 keeps my bishop on e1. I play rook c1 first before going knight g5 because if I play knight g5 now, I was worried about takes, takes, and knight to e7. I don't know where to put my bishop here. If I move back to b3, he can activate with bishop c6. Yeah. And, um, or maybe or maybe he could play c4, I'm not sure. Yeah, bishop c6 is just fine for black, I guess. I cannot attack f7 because the knight is covering f5, the queen is covering f4, the bishop and c6 is covering f3. Yes, so I had to play rook c1 here first. Now I have a target on c5 if in case he captures my knight on g5. So that's the reason why he played h6 to stop knight g5. All right, I have to play h5. Now my plan is to move back the bishop to a2, right? Okay, let's say for example here, a random move. Let's just say a random move like uh, rook to b8, for example. Now white has bishop a2 and uh, bishop to b1. Yep. That was the point of h5 to stop g6. Okay, so he played bishop into f8 and bishop a2. Queen into e7, queen c2. I, th that's why I did not play bishop b3 because after queen e7, now you cannot create a battery on b1 to h7 because the queen will be blocking the way of the bishop. And if I play queen f5, I, I guess he will just go for queen f6 here, yeah. Anyways, bishop a2 was played, okay, threatening bishop b1 and mate on h7. He played queen e7, queen c2, still bishop b1 is there. Queen f6, knight 2d2, I wanted to go knight e4, because if he plays g6, then he has this weakness on the f6 square. 90, okay, 95, bishop to b1, g6, that's the important move. If he goes queen f5 here, I would just go queen e2, right? And maybe try something else, you know? maybe I would take the pawn on g6 also, which is also a possibility, or just take the rook here, yeah. <clears throat> he went for queen to, okay, sorry, he went to, Queen b6, takes in g6, takes in g6, f4. Now I want an open line for my bishop because the bishop on e1 is not doing anything. Okay, bishop h4 is a threat. He played knight g4, queen e2. He was very low on time. He played queen e6, yeah. Here it's white to play and win. And unfortunately I missed. Okay, sometimes when okay when you are going towards uh, the end game, you, you're thinking a lot of things. Yeah, you know? you're thinking a lot of variations, and you, you miss the simple ones. It it happened to me many times. Well, you, you make errors. We, we again. To err to err is human. We we make mistakes. Yeah, that's just uh, human nature. What to do? Queen takes g4 actually wins on the spot and he would resign. <laughs> because if he captures on g4, I have the double attack on f6. Yeah. But uh, I was 
so too focused on the pawn and c5 because I wanted my bishop on e1 to be developed. So I captured that rook on d8, takes on c5. So I went for the pawn, not the knight. <laughs> OMG. And after taking on c5, I actually thought for a long time here because I was still, okay, I actually saw the line between this g4 late, so two moves late, yeah, when I captured that pawn in c5. And I wanted to to pinch myself once again. Oh my God, I, am I going to miss this game once again? Yeah. Anyways, it is what it is. You just have to play with, with what's on the board at the moment, yeah. Okay, the game is still on, so continue. Refocus, yeah. Bishop takes before one point up, but uh, I think with with uh, extra time, black should be holding here. Here, rook c4, have to protect b4 and f4 at the same time. With h5, bishop into c3, king e2. Here, rook e4, he paid king d7. Of course, he cannot go king f5, there's rook e5, yeah. A double attack on the knight. <clears throat> We play king d7 to king f2, yeah, bishop e5, king f3, rook c1, okay, rook a4. Now I can activate my king, hook into a6, he played king f7. If again he plays king f5, white should be winning with rook b6, I guess, yeah, because if you play that rook to f1, I have king e2, or maybe king g3. Yeah. So he played king f7, have king e4, rook f6. Probably not the best move. Um, here I should have played bishop c3, not allowing this rook e1. But I played bishop d6, and unfortunately, he lost on time here before making that rook c2 move. Here, I guess black could hold. I was hoping for this position, takes on e7, takes on e7, takes on g6, takes on b2. If I play rook g5, then he might go for h4 here. Okay, it's still better for white to do that extra pawn, but maybe here, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure, yeah, king g4. King g4 and then maybe rook f1. I'd still be winning, I guess, but it will take some time. But then again, sometimes it's just important to be lucky. <laughs> it's another good win for me. Happy for the win. But it doesn't, I, I don't mind. I don't mind losing also or drawing. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a guy who just move on from everything. And that's my approach in life. We only live once, you know. I don't settle for like, oh, I should have done this and done that, or no. Win or lose, just move on, play another game, wait for another day, it's another tomorrow. Yeah, that's just life. Accept what it is, yeah. All we need to do in this world is just acceptance. Uh, the reason why the world is uh, in chaos because people are not accepting, yeah. It's just about acceptance. Uh, that's the way I see life. Again, you just make the most out of your life. I mean, one day we will be gone. You lose on the chessboard, it's just fine. Yeah, there are other important things to do as well. Yeah, but of course, you have just have to do your best in everything. Yeah. I tried, and uh, lucky to be rewarded here. And there are still seven more games to go. I'm looking. I'm hoping for my to get my final norm. My first Grandmaster norm was in 2006. Yeah, so a long time. It was a time when Wesley was still a PD master. I got my first GM norm. And now 16 years on, and still an IM. Yeah, there'll be two norms. But uh, I continue to move on. I continue to live life. And uh, one way, the, the reason why also we, we opened this channel is to inspire my students. Um, that uh, we're still fighting yeah. 
just show them that we, we, we fight, we live. And and I'm also thankful that there, there are supporters in this channel. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, okay, there, there are days where we really can't uh, do much because we are also busy with our jobs here in Dubai. I'm working here in Dubai for the past three years now. But when we are free, uh, me and my friend, we will definitely give you um, quality videos. Yeah. My friend is doing these videos also for me. So thankful for my friend. So that's it. Uh, please continue to support our channel, Charles Max yes, and Charles Max Entertainment. And we'll also continue to give you more insightful videos in the days to come. This is Coach Oliver. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.